We're going to be palpating extensor digiti minimi in this video. So we're going to be starting very similar with digitorum's attachment on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and via the common extensor tendon. But in this case, I'm going to ask you to start by making a fist and then just rapidly tap your pinky finger. So the slip of for extensor digitorum should be visible. As you can see me slowly going down along it, you can see that muscle firing. Very similar to extensor digitorum in a lot of ways. Um, however, its tendon is separate at the wrist. So as I work my way down, this one is going to be closer to the head of the ulna. So I'm just going to go onto the posterior aspect of the forearm right next to the head of the ulna. And as she rapidly taps that, I can easily feel the tendon there. Now I'm going to add a little bit of resistance to the distal phalanx and I'm gonna follow that independent tendon where it actually blends with extensor digitorum. So they meet typically in and around the back of the hand here in the metacarpals. And those two tendons go together inserting into the middle and distal phalanx of that fifth digit. Um, just like extensor digitorum, this one is also innervated by the radial nerve. 